Hi everyone. We're getting ready to go on our first, well that's not true, it's really our second camping trip in our cute little, what do you call this honey? It's a Rustic Trails Grizzly. But what's the kind of camper? Teardrop camper. It's a teardrop camper. As you see it looks like a little teardrop. So just wanted to get you ready because you're going to follow us as we go. When we get there we'll do a little tour and keep you up to date on all of our activities. So and we'll show you around the camper too. So stay tuned. Here we are at the Lake Norman State Park campground. If you want to take a look around, you can see the beautiful spot we had. Well, there's a big garbage bag. Don't look at that garbage bag. But if you look around the garbage bag, you'll see the beautiful lake behind us. So come on around and take a look at our beautiful camper. This is our Rustic Trail teardrop camper. Here, I'm going to take you inside and show you. It's a grizzly bear. This particular one, as you can see, there's a grizzly bear paw right there. Oh my God! Who left that dog in there? It was our dog. Come on in and see. This is our little camper. You can see it's bear themed. And we've gone with a black and cream check but tried to soften it up with some very fuzzy bare stuff. had these curtains made specifically for the camper. And look at our little refrigerator. It's a retro Frigidaire refrigerator. Pretty cool, huh? Well, I want to tell you a little bit about our Rustic Trail Teardrop Camper. When you buy the standard version, just the base model, they're around $7,000. We have a couple custom things done to this. All of the vinyl applications on the side are custom. We also went with an air conditioning unit and we put trailer brakes on this one as well because that is important. Why is it important? I don't know. It only weighs about 1,300 pounds. But you will, uh, you'll notice that the inside of it is it's pretty small, but you can definitely uh, move around in it. And that was one of the options that we really liked about it. You're not just sitting on the floor. Uh, you can take the dinette, drop it down, and then you have a full queen size bed in there. We've been really happy with it so far. We've had maybe two, three nights in it. So with, uh, with the winter here, we were kind of lightweights when it comes to camping. But you'll also notice it is set up where you can plug 110 into that to power any outlets that are inside the camper. And there is basically a power strip. We also bought a battery inverter. So right now we're able to run lights and fans and uh, exterior lights on the camper just with a charged battery that sits inside the unit. Now that battery will last about seven days and we've really, uh, we've really enjoyed it. So this is Lake Norman State Park. 